So I'm from Te Tairawhiti or Gisborne City. Um, my lineage spans from the East Coast, Ngāti Porau, uh, to the whan, Te Whāne Arua Taupare on my grandmother's side. And then on my grandfather's side spans to um, Hawke's Bay, uh, Ki Ngāti Kahunganu, um, all the way to Te Arawa, Te Raukawa and Taiz or Taranaki as well. So I've got many links to these lands. Ko Taupuru Araki Brightwell Tuku Ingwa, uh, no Turanganui Akiwa O. So, um, what I've been working on, on this week, um, this painting behind me uh, is to commemorate uh, the Takotapui Hui that is to happen um, in November this month. And so, it is a celebration of our rainbow community. Uh, especially uh, Māori uh, rainbow community, so that is what the Takotapui Hui is for, uh, as well as our Pacific um, brothers and sisters um, from across Te Mōna Nui Akiwa, from the sea. Uh, Kahukura Nui uh, is uh, featured in this painting. There is a, a person um, who brought net making uh, to the people uh, and was taught by the Patupaira here, Children of the Mist who introduced that to him as well, and that is why he's holding up a net in his hand. Uh, the Patupaere here uh, are the children of the God of Peace, Rongo Maatane. And Rongo Maatane uh, was also known to uh, be the deity or creator of rainbows. Kahu Kuranui um, became the guardians of rainbows, and such that um, he fell in love with uh, the mist maiden uh, goddess of the mist, Hinea Tarangi, and in order to embrace one another fully, they both merged together and became the rainbow, and therefore the guardians of rainbows. And that is what the painting means to the far left. That's one. Aye, so Uenuku is a figure in the centre, um, a very, it's, it's probably one of the most ancient symbols that we've discovered and that we have. Uh, however, Uenuku uh, is himself is the god of rainbows, and that's why centred in the middle. Um, it is the overall um, kind of centrepiece of the image because that's, that's what ties it all together. Ai Kahunganu, so he is the, the great chief that the tribe here is named after, Ngāti Kahunganu. And so it was, it was appropriate to add him here, uh, to tie, not only to tie the painting to the land, but that is our history, that is our stories as well. And all our ancestors all relate to each other. And so he lived in these lands, and the way I portrayed him, um, as much of a great chief that he was, and also um, established the largest empire in the Māori Kingdom, uh, Wairarapa, uh, he was more of a, a great fisherman. And so his symbol, he's holding up a snapper, uh, which is a, a, a ika that uh, we find in our harbours and our oceans, um, and also on his chest a power. So he was known to uh, come out of the sea um, with power all over his body uh, and he brought much food to his people and was well known for that. Also to show off. Uh, he, he liked to show off his achievements um, and his skills and that was one of them. The, the rainbow has always been a symbol of diversity, uh, peace and tranquility. And so I wanted to represent that in the form and shape of our, our stories and local heroes and leaders of the past.